The other day I was out for dinner with friends and dinner time talk turned to different iconic artists from throughout past ages whose work would have been different if they would have had access to the internet. And that got me compiling in my head this list that I'm going to share with you about the top five dead celebrities who would have loved the internet. Number five is Frank Zappa. This was a guy who pushed commercial music as far as it could possibly go. From novelty singles to experimental psychedelic instrumental tracks, there was almost no room for him in the music business of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. But nowadays, he wouldn't have to go to Europe and crisscross America trying to find an audience. He would start a YouTube channel. And that YouTube channel would rule because he was also a filmmaker and a visual artist. Uh, and get this, decades before before iTunes, Frank Zappa actually tried to implement a digital delivery system where you would get music sent to you digitally over the telephone lines and the charge for it would appear on your phone bill. Number four is Betty Page. In her day, Ms. Page was one of the most famous and popular nude models because she was absolutely reliable to be completely unafraid to show everything in front of the camera. The only problem is that because of laws about pornography at the time, these underground camera clubs were the only way that her images could be circulated. Uh, nowadays with the internet, she could take full control of the image, build a business around it, and likely be even more famous than she was in her day. And nowadays she would get the recognition she deserves instantaneously instead of having to wait decades for it. Number three is John Lennon. Now how is it that arguably the most famous man in the world can grow to hate the limelight, withdraw, barely leave his bedroom for five years, and then re-emerge and can't get a record deal but then puts out one of the landmark albums of his career? Now in 1980, John Lennon was only able to release Double Fantasy because David Geffen did him a favor, but today he would just put it out on iTunes. In fact, John Lennon was obsessed with whatever was newest and latest in entertainment and consumer electronics. So today, it's likely that we will be remembering him as the first mainstream artist to demonstrate the power of the internet as a distribution medium. Number two is Charlie Chaplin. Now what the Beatles were to popular music, Chaplin was to cinema. That is to say that he kind of invented what we see today as the movie business. His early short films existed as kind of an early, primitive, funnier die, only his satire was so biting that they kicked him out of the United States for it. Uh, he had his ear to the ground and his work was so accessible. I mean, watch Modern Times and I dare you not to laugh out loud all these years later. But he was so connected that uh, viral success would have been today all but guaranteed. Uh, a filmmaker, an artist, a composer, a satirist, he would have found the internet to be an endless canvas to express his creativity. And in this day and age, he would have had no shortage of subjects to ridicule. Number one is Andy Warhol. This is the man who brought the term pop art into popular use. And now when everybody's a production company and we all have the means of production at our fingertips installed on our computer, everybody's a pop artist. Between Twitter, internet memes, viral videos, Facebook, YouTube, the whole internet seems like an expression of Andy Warhol's famous statement that in the future everybody would be famous for 15 minutes. If he were alive today, I think that Andy Warhol would have turned the web itself into an art medium in ways that we can't even dream of. So what do you think? Did I leave anybody off the list? Agree? Disagree with my picks? Let me know in the comments. Send me an email. Follow me on Twitter. The link is uh, below in the description. And uh, most of all, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Video 100 is just a few days away. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.